Well, in our first lecture, we had told you that after solving sets, you will be able to solve impossible problems like this. Let's recall the problem. Last June, there were 15 windy days and 20 rainy days, yet 5 days were neither windy nor rainy. But how can this be when June has only 30 days? If you count the number of days, it will give you 15 plus 20, 35 plus 5, 40. But you know that June has only 30 days. But now, after solving sets, you can solve this problem. Let's see how. We have arranged this in a Venn diagram. You know what a Venn diagram is? Now, when I say there were 15 windy days, what do you visualize? The day will be windy. So this set gives me the number of days or the days which are only windy. Now what about 20 rainy days? When I say 20 rainy days, you visualize something like this, that the days must be rainy. So this is the set which shows us that the days were rainy. Now, five days were neither windy nor rainy. How do you visualize it? Like this. But these days were neither windy nor rainy. So this will be sunny. So where will you write 15, 20 and 5 inside the Venn diagram? Write it. Now 15 windy days may be these inside this set. Now 20 rainy days may be this. And 5 days that are neither windy nor rainy will be written inside the universal set. But did you not think about it that some days could be both windy and rainy? Well, this was the thing that was missing. Now let's look at the problem again. Last June there were 15 windy days and 20 rainy days. But these are the days that were not only windy. There may be some days which were rainy also. Like the picture we showed you which had both windy and rainy days. Now, in this 20 rainy days, there may be some days which were windy also. So, now let's see. Here June has only 30 days. So, you can say that the universal set contains 30 days. You already know what a universal set is. Now, can you find out the number of days that are either windy or rainy? Now, you know that June has 30 days and it is clearly mentioned that 5 days were neither windy nor rainy. That means it may be sunny day. So how many days are left? 30 days are in total and 5 days were neither windy nor rainy. So we can say that 25 days were either windy or rainy or both. So you can say that the number of days that are either windy or rainy is 25. Now, how can you show it in, as a cardinal number? We know what is a cardinal number? The number of elements that contain... Sorry. Uh, you know what is a cardinal number? A cardinal number is a number of distinct elements in a set. So, in this set, we are having 25 elements. So, you can say that cardinal number of windy days union with rainy days is equal to 25. Now, tell me the number of windy days. Simply just look at the problem and tell me the number of windy days. We can see it is 15. So, write it. Or we can also denote it as cardinal number of W. That is, cardinal number of windy days is equal to 15. Now look at the problem and tell me number of rainy days. There are 20 rainy days. Or you can write cardinal number of set R or cardinal number of rainy days is equal to 20. Now let's arrange this data on the Venn diagram. So we can see there are two Venn diagrams in front of us. 
this shows the number of windy days only while this shows the number of rainy days now look at the data here cardinal number of w union r is 25 that is number of windy days or the number of rainy days or both refers to 25 while if we take these separately say number of windy days plus the number of rainy days that is 15 plus 20 will give you what 35 so how is this extra coming here we are getting 35 minus 25 as 10 so from where is this 10 extra coming well if you look closely we are what are we doing we are adding the set of windy days to the set of rainy days so we are adding this circle with this circle see this is the extra we are adding the intersection of w and r twice so how can we correctify our mistake we can rectify our mistake by subtracting the intersection once this will give us the right answer see we have come up this this new formula how did we learn it we added the number of windy days with the number of rainy days and now if we subtract one intersection we'll get the other intersection correctly and this formula will give us the exact number of windy or rainy days or both so now write the answer so we can say that if we add the number of windy days to the number of rainy days and subtract any one intersection that is cardinal number of w intersection r we will get the exact number of days which were either windy or rainy or both so let's solve this what is the number of windy days it is 15 what is the number of rainy days that is 20 do you know the number of days which were both windy and rainy no we have to find out that so we will copy this as it is now we know how many days were exactly either windy or rainy or both that is cardinal number of w union r that is 25 so you can see there is only one missing information and all other information is given here so let us solve 15 plus 20 will give you 35 minus cardinal number of windy intersection rainy is equal to 25 now we'll directly find out what is the number of days which were both windy and rainy 35 minus 25 will give us number of days which were both windy and rainy what did we do we shifted this 25 to this place and added this minus sign over here and we took this negative element in this place and changed it into positive sign now let's solve what is intersection of w union rainy it is 10 so exactly we have this as 10 and this as 10 now try to add and solve so actually what do we have we have only 5 windy days 10 days which were both windy and rainy and 10 days which were only rainy what have we done we have subtracted this 10 from 15 so we get 5 here we have 10 here and we have to subtract this 10 from 20 also so we get 10 here so how many days now we have 5 plus 10 plus 10 that gives us 25 and in our problem we had total 30 days in which 5 days were sunny that is neither windy nor rainy and 25 days which were either windy or rainy or both so 5 plus 10 plus 10 gives you 25 so we have reached the problem 
Now solve this yourself using the same formula which we have learnt now. In a group of 60 people, 45 speak Hindi, 28 speak English and all the persons speak at least one language. That means we do not have any element left in the universal set. Find how many people speak both Hindi and English. You have to find out the intersection of both Hindi and English. Do it yourself. Now, let's look at the Venn diagram. Now, in a group of 60 people, that is, what is the universal set? 60 here. Now, how many people speak Hindi? That is cardinal number of set H. 45. Now, how many people speak English? 28. What we have to find out? Find how many people speak both Hindi and English. You have to find out this intersection. We don't know this, so give a question mark here. Now, how many people speak either English or Hindi? We know that all the pe persons speak either of the language. So, you can say here that H union E, that is number of people who either speak Hindi or speak English are 60. Now, solve for this. We already know that cardinal number of set H plus cardinal number of set E minus one intersection will give us union of set H and set E. So, you already are familiar with this formula. Now, substitute these numbers and find out N of H intersection E. Well, number of people who speak Hindi is 45. Number of people who speak English is 28. Now, we do not know who are the people who speak both Hindi and English. So, leave it like this. We know that all the people speak either Hindi or English. So, it will give us 60. Now, solve for this. 45 plus 28 will give you 73 minus cardinal number of H intersection E will give us 60 or cardinal number of H intersection English will be 73 minus 60 or we can say it will give us 13. So, there are 13 people who actually speak both Hindi and English. So, you can place this 13 here and subtract it from both the places. 5 minus 3, 2, 32 and this will give us 15. So, 32 people speak only Hindi, 15 people speak only English and 13 people speak both Hindi and English.